Hello everybody, I'm Nudin Hamer from the Hamer Gaming Channel and welcome to a new playthrough in the channel in the Road to 56 mod where we're going to be playing as France. Now, we are going to be going fascist and we will become the French state. So we're going to start heading towards that right away. Do you start off with 76 divisions? 74. But, yeah, which, we'll just wait a second, I'll get this sorted. But the deficit of weapons is ridiculous, so I might just bin the majority of the divisions and start afresh. We also start off with a very poor amount of... Uh, we have six military factories, so I'm going to stop doing everything other than the infantry equipment. We're going to bin those subs, because we've got subs two. I'm just going to bin the light cruisers and all the other ships, and we're just going to produce subs. Have to import some oil. We'll always get it from America. Why not? Right. Let's advance. Yeah. Look. Look at this. And when I go to change it to like my preferred template, just all them infantry then out. Watch this. Yep. Thirty-one thousand short. Yeah. We're going to guarantee the independence of uh, Belgium. Yeah, we do that, but th they'll they'll cancel that. Don't need you. Oh, she went. Actually, it's my own years that I want to change them to. Oh, yep, yeah, that that's definitely the template. Yep, two thousand days. So I'm just gonna bin. We'll keep twenty four. There we go, and we'll just bin all these. There we go. And we're just going to get ready to invade Belgium. And... I'm going to go and promote Charles de Gaulle, and we can be a field marshal now. Right, there we go. Now, the only reason I've done that is to get this deficit down. And we'll get rid of this tank template, get rid of the cavalry, get rid of the infantry, and also the colonial br brigade. Now we've got them training. And Pierre Laval is now gone, and we've got Albert Sarut, who will also go bye-bye soon. I think literally after this election. Hopefully Belgium will make the Benelux. That would be fantastic, so Britain doesn't get involved. I think I might try and get Spain as well. Right, we're suffering from inflation now. So that's daily political power cost of plus 0 0.6. And obviously we've got the, the generic ones here. My plan is to join the Axis first, because I'm going to be going down this side of the tree. So we will we will join the Axis, but I will leave it eventually. It's only to stop the Germans from declaring war on me to begin with. That's the only reason. Legislative election. Obviously, we're not going to do that. We're going to go issue a diplomatic objection, and now we have to go for the Matigon Agreement Amendment because that's how we get to the support of the right and far right leagues. And to start off with, we shall go for a fascist. Oh no, we can't. We can't do that yet. So we'll go for a military theorist. Leon Bloom. See, there we go. Third leader in the space of three months. We do start off with a decent sized navy. But I don't think it's anything compared to. Uh, Britain's. What are you actually up to? So we want them to do form the Benelux, not join the Allies. That would be uh, disappointing. Or if they go fascist, you know, I'm, I'm not too bothered if they go fascist. But I'm wanting to get the Benelux. And obviously I'm going to do split Switzerland with uh, Germany, so we should get this half. No, we'll just let them strike. I know it, I know the 
pack three up, which is not exactly great, but we'll take it now. How many days until this is sorry? 98 days until we've got enough guns. Spanish Civil War. What I might do is intervene in this. So, like, if the Nationalists have pushed the Republicans up here, I'm just going to start pushing through, because hopefully they shouldn't really have any equipment left or manpower. Right now, we just really need to get fascists first. See, we could go aggressive towards Germany, but I don't want to go to war with them. Alright, leagues. Get this machine tools done. Special industry one. Okay, um, that's not good, but it's, it'll, it'll go eventually, the communism. Just see what everyone else is up to. The Great Purge. They're doing some boats. National defense propaganda. They're working on the. So the Monroe Doctrine? Yeah, reaffirm the Monroe Doctrine. Nothing out in the ordinary, really. Well, nothing crazy's happened yet. This is when the Republicans actually win for once. It's probably not going to happen, is it? 70 more days. The thing is, once I've got enough, um, we do have enough. Obviously, I get rid of two, so it's 20 combat width. And that should have brought the deficit down. Oh, yep, we're in the positive, so. Start training in two, so we'll go for 12. Now, 24 divisions. Let's start special research division. Where are they up to? Form a coalition government. Right. So they've started down the path. Hopefully they won't, don't go for deterrence. There goes factory strikes. So... Yeah, factory outputs back up to... Well, back to zero. And this is going to be in March. Right. Finally, we can compete again. Up. Oh, Mao's decided to declare war on XP and that, as usual. Probably going to be a white piece eventually. Front de la Liberté, I think that's how you say it. So we're going to get the fascist demagogue anyways for doing that. And then we'll have to wait until we've got 10% for the far right leagues before we do that next one. So we will start focusing on... Possibly rearmament. Or maybe not. What I might do is go for the De Gaulle strategy. And then go for this. Because infantry equipment production cost minus 10%. That'll help us. Yeah, it looks like the Republicans will probably... Well, saying that, they've made a wee gain there, but then lost. That's probably going to be the Nationalists. Ethiopia's gone, as usual. No surprise there. Right, they didn't decide what they're actually doing. Instead, they're getting one civilian factory. Fantastic. We want them to do... I think we want them to do that. Yeah, they have to do... Political union against fascism. Form the Benelux, please do. It helps us out so much. Yeah, nothing really out of the ordinary is happening. I'm sure, it will eventually. How many military factories we've got now? We've got 12. Foreign tutors. Oh, I didn't realise they had a tiny wee tree. Wow. Fantastic. Puppet Estonia, Alliance with Estonia. Grand Duchy Legacy. Gains core is on, I'm presuming that's the other Baltics, Baltic states. 
So Latvia and uh, wait, who was I even looking at? Was that Lithuania? Yeah, so Latvia and Estonia. Right, the goal strategy, because we're not going to be defensive. We don't need the Alpine forts really to begin with, because Italy should join the Axis. Actually, let's have a look at the casualties, so shall we? So it's quite even actually. They do have possibly more divisions. Why well, I might see a Republican win for once. Now, oh, Kingdom of Iraq. I'm presuming they're going to become the. Assyrian? I think it's if they do this. Golden Square. Yeah, it's like the Assyrian Empire or something. Um, they're still doing the Great Purge, of course. Yeah, we're well, like 50%. Yugoslavian requests. Sale of airplanes. Well, it doesn't really matter, really. Um, we don't need the planes, so you know we're getting consumer goods from factories minus 5%. Which will help us a wee bit. Get some more factories built in that time. Oh, okay, good, good. Right, please don't join the allies. France, current ruling party is not democratic. Okay, so they can't really do that unless I'm not democratic. So let's hope that they decide to go ahead with the Benelux before I go fascist. Which they should do because I'm only at, we're only at 19% and I have to be at 30%. So. Let's just split them up a little bit. There's the De Gaulle's strategy finished. We get a nice production cost of minus 10% for motorized as well. We can't do that unless we've done defense national funds, which is there. Yeah, we'll go for that. It gets us onto early mobilization, which I don't think we can actually go to yet by ourselves. Nope, we don't. We can't. So. Oh, I thought the Republicans were doing good for once, but it seems that they're they're failing. So Pairs accepted the British demands. So they'll have Nash yeah, no Irish pack. Oh, and they're going communist. Lovely. Chairman up to uh, the usual. I haven't really seen them choose side with the technocrats. It's always been the autarchs. I probably said that wrong. They like us. Why don't we like them? Ah, we protested the action. But that'll go away eventually. What else, actually? What was the other stuff? Different ideology. That'll go away as well. And the tension will go away as well, because we won't care. Okay. And what are they doing? What, what's this? One naval dock here and one civilian factory. Damn, I don't think they actually done this. Okay, right. So we have to, we can't be we can't be uh, democratic. So they've got a choice whether they go to either of those. Yeah, we'll just put our guns. Oh look, white piece. It always ends in that. Pointless. Nothing was gained. Study foreign ship design. I don't know why you're doing that, and I don't know why you're wanting to take Taiwan from Japan. Yeah, the Republicans are losing it. And there's the Mitsumori, of course. Right, let's get the Defense National Funds, which unlocks focuses the military part of the tree, political advisors become available, and some national unity, which we definitely do need. Gonna have 30. 33 once we get that focus done. Magic on amendments done. Good. How are we doing for fascism? 
Right, when this is finished, we'll do um, the Better Fighter Productions gone. Do the French Popular Party. We'll do the Nationalist Referendum. We won't do that yet. We'll demand Wallonia. How many divisions do you even have? 8 to 13. They should abandon this guarantee when we go fascist. Oh, the threat of communism. We will be vanguard against the red threat. So let's put our fascism right up. Yep, we're definitely going to be able to do the next part of the fascist tree. Oh, the tension's only at 1% right now. See, it's in favour. Like, you'd think they'd be doing better, but they've only got eight factories and they've got, like, what, 26, let's say. Yeah, wait, what? Okay. Alright, um. Let's do that first. And then that. So the French state is here. Okay, um, I thought we were going to need to do that event first, but here is Philippe Pétain. Belgium, there we go. They've renounced the protection. So hopefully they should make the Benelux. Hopefully. So wait. Why would the nationalists need a referendum when uh, we're, already, we're already in charge now? Oh well, we'll see what happens. We should be fine, I think. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll get some more military factories. What was that? Polish Romanian Alliance, Hindenburg's gone. I think we can just go. Yeah, partial mobilization in there. Right, that's that other uh, Yugoslavian. Uh, national spirit we got there for giving them the planes. I wonder if anyone else actually gave them any planes. Wow. Ah, oh, it's still the protested action. Yeah, action. Right, well, that's fine. 50. Oh, army of pens. Nice. Um, obviously, we'll go with him. Don't really need the 5 to the 10. Should really do that. What are they up to? Nothing really. Treaty with Lithuania. It's me why the state visited Japan. We stole the Red Guard. You went for communism. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Finland offers us Karjala in exchange for Estonia. I would rather accept these parts of Russia rather than the... Uh... Oh my days, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. That's the state that they want, isn't it? I'm sure it is. The province, I mean. Wow, she actually completed uh, her plane trip this time around the globe. You still haven't decided what you're doing. Not good. Join the Allies. Well, that's just fantastic, isn't it? Fan dabby dozy. Well, we should probably just get ready to, to be them as soon as. Ah, so P Philippe Patin um, retires. I'm sorry if I butchered his name, and we're now going to get Jack Stoyrit. Probably said that wrong as well, but oh well. Let's demand. Oh, yeah. There he is, looking very serious. Industrial, we don't want electronics. Yeah, we've got plenty of guns, I'm going to stop and just start. Start doing it that way. Right, how many military factories do we have? What we'll do is start producing some artillery as well. We're going to start invading. We are going to start with invading Britain, so. Or do I go for Spain? Spain might be easier. 
We'll see what happens here, but they're definitely joining joined the Allies. So we hit them as soon as. I know exactly where to invade them. Newcastle. And possibly Hull as well. For the two naval invasions. I know for a fact that they don't protect Newcastle. What I could do is. When this is complete, if we just. Can we do this? No, we're a bit ahead because. We're, right, we'll do, we'll do uh, two five naval invasions. On the. On the the east coast. We'll see what we'll see what Belgium does. Archelous. That's disappointing. If only the Benelux had been formed. Let's just uh, get ready for, to invade, just in case they deny me. This could be a disaster, like, but. The Republic of Finland declared one the Finnish Democratic Republic. I think they told us to get away. So we could claim the Rhineland. We'll leave this thing out. What we will do is we will start. Can't do that yet. Let's go for. We'll go for that. Get some more national unity. Oh, no, they actually did give us it. Right. Okay. Well. Belgium's looking very sad and sorry now. Well, if only we had gotten the Benelux, I could have done a naval invasion in Newcastle from there. We're going to have to do a long one. Uh, well, saying that, we could just evade them. We could, couldn't we? Obviously, I'm going to build up my army first, so we'll just... You know, I'm tempted to go for Spain. Well, it develop a little bit more, and we'll get some more, uh, we'll get some more divisions in. I think there's another ten. I should probably hold back on the artillery and everything. Actually, we'll take the artillery. We'll, we won't do the support equipment, and we'll get some more military factories. We kind of want to deal with the Allies before Germany decides to get in on the action because I want to get most of the territory. So do you know what? We'll leave Spain alone. Because if we join the Axis, then, you know, we'll, we'll be fine. They won't be. Hopefully we can get them before they join. Um. Yeah, Newcastle will be a bit of a pain to get to. Should be fine. Right, we'll go for... We'll, go, we'll try two fives. Uh, we'll go. F obviously, we're going to go from here and up there, and then we'll go from here to there. So we're going to have to get naval dominance in the English Channel and um, the North Sea. I should have known that. I should have known that. Right, we'll get you in there and you. Let's put the goal up into two. And we shall put him in charge. He can go and chill there. And the goal can go and chill there. There we go. Let's put them all on aggressive. I don't know if I'm going to want to have some troops garrison, but. We'll get this other pen out. I think come to our pact. We will probably join that. I have to be careful in case Belgium actually joins the Allies. Might be, might be possible. Actually, I know for a fact it is possible since they didn't form the Benelux. And again, they could still form it with um, Luxembourg. Who is completely cut off from them now. How long would it take me to justify? 220 days. See, I'm just wondering how many of these divisions are actually... Um, uh, 
elsewhere in their empire. I'm actually going to change this up. We'll go for Portsmouth as well. So I'll launch this one first, because they will hopefully definitely get in. And all their divisions from down here will go up there, and hopefully we can just take advantage of that and get in behind them. Just in our five divisions. Right. What we'll do is we will make a wee garrison template. I'll just five infantry battalions. There we go. Estonia and Poland signed the white piece. And we'll just call it garrison. And there's caps lock. Fantastic. Always do it. So it's spelled garrison. I'm sure it is. And we'll go for 15. More guns, please. More guns. Now, how many artillery do I still need? 2,000. Okay, what we'll do is we get another lot of uh, artillery. We're going to ask to join the Axis right now. This is still going on. I don't know why he's going democratic. Thirty to sixty. We should have them. No, oh, didn't realise I had them pause. Marco Polo Bridge incident. And I think they gave them the land. Why would you do that? You have just doomed yourselves. Right, let's go for partial mobilisation. Saves us some political power instead of changing it right now. Then again, we could have just went to war. But, oh well. Um, command we expert. We'll take him. We will take him. What wars are going to... Oh, well, China declared war on Japan. Seriously? Why? Okay, they're starting to lose it now. We will join that. We'll keep Germany happy for now. We'll backstab them when the Soviets are taking them on as well, so they're in two fronts. No lines went away. That was obviously going to happen. We've got a non aggression fight with them now. Right, you know what, guys? We're going to end that episode there. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Cheerio, bye.